Hello, my name is Dr. Rudy Rosen, and I'm your instructor for Texas Aquatic Science, an introduction. I'm a research professor at the Meadows Center for Water and the Environment at Texas State. I recently wrote the textbook, Texas Aquatic Science, in cooperation with Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and the Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies at Texas A&M University at Corpus Christi. Texas Aquatic Science was modeled after the Missouri Department of Conservation's curriculum conserving Missouri's aquatic ecosystem from which some of the text and illustrations were drawn and used or adapted. Funding for our work was provided by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's Sport Fish Restoration Program and the Ewing Hossel Foundation in San Antonio. This lesson is adapted from that book, published by and available from the Texas A&M University Press. Production of this lesson and video in part was funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation through the Research Coordination Network for Climate, Energy, Environment, and Engagement in Semi-Arid Regions. Today's lesson is on the hydrologic cycle. To help focus today's lesson, here are a few questions to consider. What is the hydrologic cycle? Where does it start and where does it end? Where does water spend most of its time? What is weather? What is climate? How do they affect the quality and quantity of our water? What kinds of climate are found in Texas? What is surface water? What is groundwater? Where does water go when it runs off a street? Where does our water come from? How does it get in our fossils? What happens to water after it goes down a stream? And if water is so recyclable, how, we can, how can we use this property of water to create a sustainable water future in Texas?